to Midnight Raven. Today we are doing a shopping haul. It's my first Halloween haul of 2017 and this is from Bargain Buys. Um, I haven't bought a lot from Bargain Buys as you can see but I do have another Halloween haul coming up and that is from B&M and I also have a Primark haul coming up as well. So I have been shopping, shopping, shopping. It is that time of the year where I have to go out and I just have to buy Halloween stuff. I am a connoisseur of the Halloween time. Um, I'm not a fan of Christmas, but I will do some Christmas hauls sort of October, November, maybe in December. It's that time of year already. So we're going to dive in and see what we can find. I do have my little thing here as I bought quite a lot in one day and it's just trying to remember it all. So I'm going to place it on the side and then we're going to go through it. Woo. So usually over Halloween um, we'll either have a little party at mine for the kids of a few friends or we will go out trick-or-treating and I will stay at home and dish out the candy and I get all goffed up and that which we will show you when Halloween comes. So first of all um, I got these spooky paper plates which I thought were really cute. This has all come from Bargain Buys or um, possibly in your area it's called Pound World. It's possibly Bargain Buys. So we got these cute little plates and these were just a pound and in there you have uh, I think it's eight or ten bowls. So you get quite a few as you can see there. So we've got the little ghosties. I bought it mainly because of the ghosts at the back. I'm not a very big fan of pumpkins but you can see that it's a black and purple colour and it does say Happy Halloween at the bottom and it's got a couple of little swagers. Then next on my list for Halloween was a carving set. Now usually the carving sets you get are orange or they're green well I found my own <gasps> spooky set this is the deluxe Halloween pumpkin carving kit carve out the darkness it's got nine tools in it so you've got the little scoop here you've got your carving tool here and then you've got seven stencils which you don't usually get usually you only get like these four or you get these but I got the big set. Mine's the deluxe Halloween and of course it's in black. Which is even better. So that was £1.50. Not a bad price. Next on my list was obviously um, pumpkin carving is not my like creative part that I enjoy. So I got some of these to help my boys. These are Evil and Cursed Pumpkin Stencils Carve Out Your Nightmares. So inside you'll find all these stencils. So let's have a closer look. We have like Trick or Treat. We have Pumpkin Faces. We've got a bat down here. We've got a kitty cat. Um, we've got a witch. We've got Boo. And basically you just put it over the pumpkin. And then you can carve it or draw it with a pen. And then you can carve around the design. Um, we always try and do carvings, but they never look like anything. So this year, we are going to be pumpkin carving supremos, and then we're going to show it on YouTube how much um, we can't do it. <laughs> that, that was actually 50p for this. 50 pence. That's not bad. Next, we got some glitter bunting. As you can see, it says Happy Halloween, and each end, I don't know if I can show you at the back, they have a little pumpkin, and it just has Halloween, so you've got a skull one end, and we have a pumpkin the other, which is kind of cool, and this is from Trick or Terror. Uh, I don't know how long it is, but I will video my lounge when it's all decorated for my party. And we can share it with them. The glitter bunting was a pound. Then I got a set of napkins. These say, get rid of the evidence, wipe away all that remains. Now I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but here there's like all blood. 
don't know if you can see that, but there's like blood all over the napkins. And then the other side has got the same. You might be able to see it better on this side. You've got all the blood and that. And these were just a pound as well. And there's quite a few in there. I'd say there's 25 in there maybe. So that was kind of cool. Um, I collect napkins as well. If you haven't already, check out my video on here I did of my napkin collection. Now I know that sounds weird to have a napkin collection, but you do really get some cool designs on napkins. Um, or I thought so. Anyway, next we have the Wipe Away All That Remains, following a theme here, Wipeable Tablecloth Entertain the Dead. This is 178 centimeters by 132 centimeters. Um, I'm not quite sure of how it looks, so I'm going to take it out the pack because there is no picture. <laughs> Nothing showed me what it looked like, but the fact that it was black and white is what sold me on the idea. Ooh! So I'm not going to open it entirely, um, but you'll see on my Halloween video when I do it, but it looks like it's got a skull on it, sort of thing. Put it like there, and then I'll show you just the other bit like that. But you will see this um, when I do um, decorate for Halloween, um, and then you can see everything in its glory. So that was a tablecloth from All That Remains, and that as well was just a pound. So so far we've spent a pound, one pound fifty, and fifty p. Um, pound world is not a pound. <laughs> It's not. Um, it's a bit like um, Poundland, but they do sell a lot more expensive stuff as well. Right. Well, that's somewhat in there. So that was that. And then next, um, I always do trick or treat bags for the neighbourhood kids. I know that sounds a bit silly. You know, you could just give them one sweet and have done with it. No. Last year, I did it so that every kid had a balloon, they had a treat, they had um, something for girls and something for boys, and they had little bags. Um, these weren't what they had last year. They had um, kind of smaller ones, um, but these were just a pound, and you get 16 in. So we're going to have big bags like this this year and I'm going to fill them up with sweets and balloons and everything for the kids um, that's probably the favorite part of Halloween for me is dishing out the sweets and making the little gift bags and making it you know it's just like Christmas kids should have as much fun as they can and it doesn't have to be all candy Halloween bags do not have to be filled with candy you can fill them with balloons you can fill them with spooky glitter little ghosties, fake fingers, it doesn't all have to be filled with candy. Um, so this one is just the purple one, it says trickle treat on it, a little couple of ghosts. And then this one um, matches uh, my other thing in the bowls and it's just in orange this time. So that's something different. Moving on, we got some Halloween tape. This is Fright Tape, Haunted and Cursed, Keep Out the Crawlers. And this is basically living dead tape. It says haunt, ed, and it's like graveyard tape to try and like keep the dead at bay. So um, outside my house, we have like a um, couple of steps um, and it's got like bars going around it. So we usually put the tape around that. So that's kind of cool. That as well was just a pound. So that's a bargain price as well. And then last of all, uh, we got some Halloween paper cups. Now, my kids don't need to drink out of paper cups. They are too old for that. But, as it was Halloween, and these were so nicely decorated, I had to pick up these. Now, these say, pick your poison. Um, and I thought that these were just brilliant. So you got pick your poison on the front and then round the sides you've got like two little skeletons I'm not going to open them because no, my luck, they'll all fall out and the kids will use them before Halloween like there but they've got like little touches of blood over them as well which is kind of cool 
And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 16 in there, so that's plenty for a little party. So that's everything I got from Bargain Buys or wherever you live. It could be Pound World. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel. I am going to bring you another Halloween haul part two. It's going to be my B&M Halloween haul. And then I also have my Primark haul, which is humongous. I went out and I literally just bought shed loads of stuff that I possibly don't need, but I thought I would buy it anyway. So, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, happy Halloweening for you as well. Go out there, get your Halloween stuff, get in the... I'd call it festive season, but creepy season sounds a bit more Halloweeny. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for my second Halloween haul. Bye!